Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks a little like you're not a great person. <laughs> no! <laughs> yes, I think it's kind of hot. Hey, it's Greg Brzezinski for Beard Brand, and today I'm joined by Brooke, Shelby, Abby. We have sisters and cousins, all the same family, yeah. <laughs> and women who are in their 30s. Let's see what they think about beards. Come on along. So first up, we're gonna take a look at stubble. So here is a guy who has stubble, and a lot of times guys will let their stubble just go natural. So this represents probably just a few days worth of growth. Um, you can see that he hasn't trimmed his cheeks or his neck. So what do you think of stubble beards? I like stubble beards. Um, I didn't notice the neck stubble until you pointed it out. Not a huge fan of the neck, but right. it's okay. How about the I cheek? Like, the I cheek like not being groomed too. As long as it's not too close to the eye. Uh, yeah. So do you prefer when they are trimmed? Um, I guess if it's not too obvious. Right. I personally um, like a little bit more of a full beard. Um, my husband has a full beard. I think, you know, it's rugged, um, it's approachable, but I'd like a little bit more. So what do you think of a guy who oh, has Oh, I'm a fan. Five Yes, I like the five o'clock shadow. Yes, I think it's kind of hot. Do you have any issues with texture, the way it feels? Yes, you have to be careful. Uh, I say like the two day scruff is a little bit, but that like first day can be really prickly. It can be hard for a kiss, but I think it looks hot. <laughs> it's like the, I, you know, Mary, I, we, we were saying before, like uh, my wife never complained, but then she would have a red face. <laughs> <laughs> so keep that in mind. Up next, we have slightly longer. We have more of a two week beard. And I'd like to hear what you think of this length beard. I like it. I mean, this is a good looking guy, but <laughs> his stubble is so a little, <laughs> little, if you were to show up in a workplace, it's a little more unprofessional looking, I think. Oh, so you, so yeah. you associate stubble beards with not being as professional? Yeah. So can I ask what you do? I'm a nurse practitioner. Nurse I practitioner. In Same setting. in the hospital. Yeah. Do you see um, uh, facial hair in the hospital? Well, I work mostly with female physicians okay. um, and female nurses. I would You're say You're neonatal, right? Is that, do you think that's yeah, a function of the... Yeah, I work in um, maternity, neonatal. Um, the male physicians I work with, none of them have facial hair. Really? Really. Interesting. Yes, this is definitely more my style, um, more like my husband's beard, um, and definitely more comfortable to snuggle up with and give you a kiss on the cheek. Right. Mm -hmm. I think it looks a little messier. So I'm, but you're right. It's easier to kiss when you've got someone in that stage, but um, I don't like it quite as much. Really? Yeah. Interesting, because this is the number one style beard when you ask, you know, Cosmopolitan, like any of the women's magazines. Is the two week? The two week beard. All right, I guess I like the two day beard more than the two week beard. Right. But <laughs> I think the reason most uh, people like it is because it doesn't hurt. Okay, yeah. yeah. And it I, makes sense. I think that's I get it. it. I totally agree. Yeah. Better to kiss that two week beard than the two day, for yeah. sure. So trending this year is the solo mustache, and this probably represents your dad. <laughs> yeah, my dad had a mustache like this growing up for a long time. So it's totally back. So what do you think of the yeah. solo mustache? I think it, I don't know, it, on a younger guy like him, it's kind of ironic, like um, trying to be funny type. So it looks like... He has a sense of humor right. in my eyes. Okay. So it's fun for a short amount of time, but to be serious, I don't know. You don't so, know. I don't like it. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes. Miles Teller, he really rocked it this year. Yeah. Go Phillies. Definitely, I love it. You know, it's Scream style. I think that they're creative. I already think that they're, you know, go-getters. And I'm like, yes, go for it. So this, uh, that's a Top Gun kind of? Uh, yes. <laughs> you know what? I was just having a conversation with a friend on how mustaches like kind of were this ironic look for the barista for a little while, and now they are just popular, period. So what do you think of a classic Top Gun? It's not Since... my cup of tea. Okay. Does, but much... I, there's respect for going for it. I, I understand it's a look now. It's just not my personal, I'm not drawn towards it. So mustaches come in all shapes. We have a biker stash. That's a little rough. That's a little rough. <laughs> <laughs> and we have very
very stylized mustache. I just, <laughs> if I were to meet him, all I could look at was his mustache and I couldn't get past that. What do you think of different shape when people go to mm. work? Um, shapes in terms of their mustache. So that's giving me walrus. Don't, don't because look. it's called a walrus. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay. Um, yeah, so that one uh, looks like a bad hinge profile that I'm swiping. Oh. On. So mustache comes in different varieties. We have a biker stash or the walrus. Uh, we got the, we have the <laughs> we have the gymnastics. You're just not into it in general. Not really. I know this might be weird. I almost like the walrus more than I like the the kind of classic thicker, bushier. At least what this guy's sporting. But um, no, I'm just I'm well, not really you, a mustache you, you girl. Do, you differ from some people here. That's good. I mean, <laughs> each good. person's got their own. You yeah. know, and, and that's what I tell people there. all the time. And it's one of the purposes of us doing this series is people respond differently, meaning that it's not across the board one look fits all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You are, you know, there are people out there who are going to appreciate the way you look, the way you do your facial hair based on their personal taste. And so, so what do you think of a circle beard? <clears throat> Generally not a fan. Not a fan. It's no. like all in or nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks a little like you're not a great person. <laughs> oh, <laughs> You're up to no good type of look. Oh, so you, okay. you think it looks, well, I'm Johnny Depp here. It looks <laughs> yeah. like a bad boy kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. I think it helps that Chris Pine is so attractive, <laughs> but I don't know if this circle beard looks good on the everyday guy. That's kind of my take on it. But of course we have like David Beckham here, who's so attractive and he rocks it, but he has a little bit more of an interesting mustache going on. This is a, it out a this would bit. be called an anchor. Mm -hmm. So you can actually see it's in the shape of an anchor. Yeah. Uh, so I like that a little bit more. Um, just like there's a little bit more style to it and it seems more intentional than maybe Chris Pines. Right. What do you think when a guy has less hair on his mm -hmm. face and grows a beard or attempts to grow a beard? Sometimes it feels like they're trying to grow the beard and that maybe they they can't really grow a full one. Um, so then I kind of would maybe think, maybe let's take it away all the way down. Um, because it's kind of just looking a little disheveled. Okay. Um, just because they, you know, it's not filling in right, um, because maybe they don't grow as much hair as other people do. Mm -hmm. Take Chris Pine's face out of this. <laughs> <laughs> the circle beard. No. A hard no for me. Probably yeah. one of my least favorite. And what is that based on? Uh, it's something, I don't, I don't, it's almost like a bullseye. And I think it draws away from the eyes in a way that, I, you know, and kind of the hair in a way that I don't like. I don't, yeah. Interesting. We have the classic executive beard. And we have that in okay. different forms here, like a short beard. Um, you can see well-tamed cheeks, neck, very well-groomed. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much Aaron's beard, right? Yeah, it yeah. is. So the executive beard can do no wrong. That's why it's a perennial favorite. A lot of people keep coming back to an executive beard. Standard beard we have in different forms. Once again, mm -hmm. not fair. George Clooney here wearing an executive beard. Um, you can see here really um, groomed cheeks, groomed neck, mm -hmm. tight presentation. So what do you think of a guy who wears just a short beard? Love it. I think it's kind of the everyday beard. That's what my husband's beard is. Um, I think definitely like if they do the lines right and, and do take care of kind of the cheeks there, it, other everything else kind of speaks for itself. I think it can work on the right person. Um, I I still prefer kind of the two day scruff, but as beards go, I think the executive is one of my favorites. So what do you think when um, guys have less hair and you know attempt to grow a beard? So I think with a lot of the um, circle beards, um, it, it's a default if you have thin cheeks, you end up growing just the circle in the front, or you cut it into shapes because you don't have all the hair. We have a fellow here who is trying to grow an executive beard and it's super it's not super dense on the side. So what do you think? Uh, I'd rather use his cheeks. Yeah, don't like it. Don't like it? Mm -hmm. So it's a question of like, he, what if he went into a circle beard? No. No. Even worse. <laughs> <laughs> so shave it. <laughs> so a perception is like all, once again, all or nothing for you. Yeah. yeah. 
it still is, you know, leaning in the right direction and you could tell that there's some shape to it and at least his mustache is kind of filled in and he does have the line um, and his like, you know, the sideburns are coming in. Um, it's definitely, you know, not as full as uh, other people and it, it maybe isn't as, you know, well developed and maybe as attractive to me, but you know, I can respect it. So when a guy doesn't have a lot of hair, um, should he? I'd say just say no. Just say no. Yeah. But don't just save it into a circle, in my opinion. <laughs> just maybe keep the mustache. This guy, this guy would have a really good circle beard if he cut all the sides. <laughs> Um, so it, it would go from okay to hard no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for me. We have a beard that's a Hollywoodian beard, a fuller beard than an executive, but left kind of natural. So you can see the natural cheek. He looks so much older there. I like a full beard. You know, it is doing it for me. So um, no, you're okay with no trimming? Cheeks yes. growing high? I think that's okay. Um, I think it also comes down to like their style and how they wear some of their other clothes to kind of complement everything else that they have going on. I mean, he has full eyebrows too, but at least he's like, I think he's like kind of plucking his eyebrows a little bit. So like that's helpful. Um, so he's, he's doing a little bit of grooming, but I, I like a full kind of mm -hmm. mountain man, wild-esque. Vibe. So what do you think of a guy um, who has a little more facial hair, but leaves like, it natural? something like lovable about that. It's kind of, you know, the, you know how like Jason Kelsey, what, like there's this, yeah, it, it is popular. I think it's not We, we are getting affirmation it's over lovable here. lovable in a way section. that, that girl, some girls like. I mean, is this my favorite look? No, but I, it, it doesn't look at least in Chris's and some, it doesn't have to look messy if you haven't, I mean like unclean or dirty if you haven't done that, it, it can still look groomed in a way that can be attractive. So do you think this guy looks older because of his beard? Yeah. Yeah. And he's probably younger than Aaron. Yeah. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. uh, so beards you think age people generally. Yeah. Mm. So what, here's an example of a guy who doesn't have a lot of hair on the side, but he has a really thick full beard in general. Should he keep that or shave it, groom it, change it, leave it? It actually isn't too bad, even though it's thinner on the sides, it's pretty full elsewhere. So it kind of still gives the illusion that it's full everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. And so you're okay with the guy showing the patchiness of his kind beard? Of side. Yeah, because I think, you know, there's so much respect to have for how much he's grown in the middle and he has great you know, up top hair and his eyebrows are fantastic. I think we're not even looking at the patch, you know? Mm -hmm. So I think. I say that fine. a lot on the yeah. channel. I say you have a good um, suit in your beard. Like what is the best part of your beard? This guy has fantastic yeah. goatee. You play it up. He plays it up by growing that. Um, it brings the attention to that area of his face. Exactly. I'm I mean, he can bring more attention by shaving sides down, mm -hmm. um, but I don't think you need to always. No. And so that's, I think, a lesson, you know, it's just like play, continue to play up the strong suit of your beard because I think you get rewarded by people saying like, hey, that's the strength of my beard and people notice. He's rocking it. Yeah, I think it would be a better choice to, to clean that up. To clean that up into yeah. a circle beard? No. <laughs> No. No, Here's a friend but... of mine, and I'll describe this picture. Of people will see it on the screen here. Who has a? I don't even. I've never seen it before. He has this beard, and he shaved the cheeks down, and so it basically goes across here. So it's the appearance of a full beard. Okay. But he has no sides on it. But it's okay. not a go-to. Interesting. We have a lot of guys um, who. Not everyone's beard is perfect. Everyone's beard has some. You know what they perceive as a deficiency it's patches or whatever so here this guy has patches on the side and yet grew it full i mean his beard would look super super full if he cut it into like shaved it down on the sides you wouldn't know that but i think it's actually okay you know in some cases like in his right to go ahead and let it show mm -hmm. and last up here we have a really big beard it's a statement i'm not a big I'm not a huge fan of the when the mustache goes over the lip, totally. Um, the first picture, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like as long as my hair. <laughs> and where is his mouth? <laughs> well, he has one up here. So yes. I have a little 
There's a mouth there. There's a mouth on okay. the top one. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I think definitely the first guy, it's it's better <laughs> than the second guy. Because the second guy just looks like, you know, he lives out in the woods and he's never seen anyone in the last five years. But um, you can't deny masculine and you, yes. were there, you were all there for hyper masculine. Does this not represent this? True. The full man, <laughs> the full man. Um, yeah, they're both you know, giving very burly man vibes. Um, but I think it's not welcoming for a partner. <laughs> <laughs> some women really yeah. like this. Sure. Yeah. Sure. So. Some, some, yeah. yeah. There's somebody, something for everybody. And I think it, yeah. it, you, can't, you can't deny that it looks good, looks interesting, but it's not for everyone. Yes. That's not my man, but I love it. Like, I think that's, I, it's hard for me to picture my partner having a giant beard like that. But I think guys that are well-groomed with long beards, like more power to them, if that makes sense. Even that big. <laughs> more power to him. It's getting a little dry and frizzy on the ends. I think maybe he needs to trim it up a little bit. Maybe take off the bottom inch and a half and it would be a better situation there. Right, but uh, looking at a guy like this who has a big beard, go for it. Yeah. Yeah, do it. I mean, if it's well groomed and well cared for, do it. Cool. So you, you think at a certain point, facial hair can detract from the face? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you think hair does that? Like, do you, do you, when you look at a guy and you see their hair, do you often does it distract from their face? Sometimes, so, yeah. So you would prefer to be able to see a guy's face. Yeah. Yeah. When you grow facial hair that is, uh, you know, the executive, no one's going to complain. Everyone's gonna say, you look great, that's great style mm -hmm. and everything. The minute you go for a bigger, stronger mustache, bigger, whatever, length on beard, it's gonna be polarizing. You have to decide, do I care? Do I care what mm -hmm. other people think? Um, but in reality, someone is out there gonna yeah. say, I love that beard, mm -hmm. I love a guy with an enormous beard, um, they'll find you. Everyone says, because there's someone out there for everyone Agreed. based on you know their presentation. The reality is people don't, not everyone has the same opinion. Mm -hmm. And I don't think there's a right or wrong when it comes to facial hair. Um, and as I said before, someone out there is going to appreciate what you do. Yeah, I would totally agree with that. Yeah. yeah. And I think a lot of people will see the virtue in your presentation if it's done really well. If you're gonna go half in, I think that's where people respond more negatively. Mm -hmm. So if, you, if you're going to keep it, if you're going to do gymnastics on your face, yeah, do them well. Yeah, do exactly, well. exactly. Just embrace it. Don't kind of yeah. leave it halfway. And yeah, right. agreed. Hey, thanks for watching uh, this review from Women in the Thirties. If you like the series, uh, comment below. We still have women in their forties to get their opinions. Tell us what you think. Until we meet again.